Hey guys, RC here. This is a special release video uh, for RimWorld. Uh, RimWorld, as you know, if you've played it, has been in what uh, the developer has called an alpha state through 17 versions. It's been a playable alpha, and it's a great game. Uh, very similar to Dwarf Fortress, more sci-fi and, you know, different layouts, but similar to that type of game. It's it's a it's a building game. Um, you know, each character has roles and duties that they can perform, just like in Dwarf Fortress. Today was a nice day to wake up. Um, turned on my Steam account and saw RimWorld is no longer an alpha. It is now officially in beta 18 so he has moved over to a beta set uh, basically all this means and we can go into uh, the steam news here um, and you know you can go to your steam account or whatever but basically um, we're on build 18.1722 and the 1722 looks odd but that's how many days to today that he's been working on the game since February of 2012 so almost five years to develop it to the point that it is um, so basically we're in the home stretch before the the final release uh, they will continue to add things he said but basically there will be no new game systems uh, basically everything that's going to be in the game is now in the game and they just want to tweak it out flesh it out make sure they crush any bugs that pop up or, or you know anything like that um, but here's a couple of things new swamp biomes um, new incidents tornadoes peace talk quest meteorite impacts that leave mineable ore uh, they have changed the combat especially melee uh, to on how they report it uh, there's a story full combat that generates a combat log of each blow miss so that's very similar to dwarf fortress when you go into the report the combat reports uh, so they've developed the combat story uh, gun research has been split up into several stages so making advanced guns like assault rifles takes more research than simple revolvers or something like that same thing for melee weapon research there is new furniture including bed rolls those would be great if you were doing the uh, traveling around the caravan type stuff that came out uh, recently um, so yeah so a lot of new stuff so just new mentality breaks uh, new mental inspirations so instead of a psychic uh, kind of like the psychic soothe so you'll have some things there that can actually uh, help you in in work and and different things in the game caves you can have caves inside with special cave plants uh, world features like lakes mountains and bays are now detected and named so that's interesting so anyway uh, very very interesting stuff seasonal latitudes I saw was one so seasons more re reasonably adjust depending on your latitude uh, instead of just flipping at the equator so that's going to be interesting to get used to so anyway I'm not going to start a new save I did fire up the game so we could take a quick look at it and just kind of go you know take a look at some of the new features um, I am going to wait until some of the mods have been updated uh, because right now the mod list is all red. There are quite a few mods. I think there were like 252 mods this morning for A18 for B18 already. I think they're still calling it A18 just out of habit. Uh, but you can see now the oceans are named. So we have new Blue Pond Ocean here. Um, the Blue something Desert, Blue Bark Desert, the Red Camel Desert. So the Oriya Range, the something forest, there's got to be, oh, here we go. The Ethusha Eth Rainforest, White Koala Mountains, the Southeast White Woodlands, the Sierra Mountains, the Gray Swamp, 
the ally. So, you know, you're going to have these new features all over. Uh, oh, you have the Eurusian uh, ice sheet up here. That's interesting. So, you know, that's some new stuff. And then again, what he's talking about, I'm not sure how it's going to play out, but you have, uh, you know, typically in the old game, you had the equator. And that's where you had your year-round growing. And then anything north of that would be, you know, winter, summer, spring, fall. And then it was reversed. So, you know, on the, on the, as soon as you went south of that. So uh, that's, you know, going to be interesting to get used to. So anyway, some exciting, uh, you know, news from RimWorld. Uh, looking forward to that. Uh, I will probably fire it up uh, today to play a little bit just to start getting used to some of the new features but as i said i am going to delay starting a new series for a week for probably a week until some of the mods start coming online um you know the timeline for for the mod developers could affect that so it could be a week could be two weeks i wouldn't expect it to be much more than that uh certainly don't need to have all the mods uh in place um this is another new item here is like an archipelago uh, where you have the, the island uh, sear, you know, off the coast, uh, something like that. So that's a different uh, little format that uh, is also added in. So anyway, looking forward to the new game. Uh, it's always nice uh, to get an update to a game, uh, you know, especially a game like this that, you know, has has been in alpha development for so long the fact that you know now it's in beta and now we can kind of see what the finished product is going to look like and for a game that's been as playable and replayable as it has been through you know 17 alpha releases you know the fact that it's in beta is really cool to see for you know people that have played it for a long time i don't even remember when I first got it, I've, I've got 323 hours of playing it, though. Uh, so, you know, I've, I've put some time into it. But anyway, wanted to bring that up, let you guys know about it so you were aware. Take a look at some of the uh, the, the pictures there. Everything else looks pretty similar. Uh, we'll just pick a random landing site. Um, ooh. Okay, this is something new as well. Uh, you will be able to, okay, so you'll be able to pick out of the people that you want. You can still randomize, and I guess either these people, what, what did it say? There was something in the notes that, um, let's see, tantrums, jailbreak. Tribal content. Uh, also, it does say that Alpha 17 saves should be updatable, but it'll be the mods, uh, complex mods will, will need to be updated. Very simple mods may, may still load. So I'm a little nervous about that because there's a couple of mods that I really like. Um, where was that? combat I should have read this before I started the video but hey that's all right um, golly where was it jailbreak slaughter run wild crop blights uh, the crop blights now spread over time instead of instantly destroying crops. That's good. You can milk boomalopes for chem fuel. That's pretty cool. Added a chem fuel generator, which can be fueled from that chem fuel, so it actually gives you a reason to uh, tame boomalopes and have a boomalope uh, uh, group that you can... Uh, milk for that chem fuel help with power generation where was oh here we go pawns can now be banished this is the similar to abandoning pawns in caravans so i am 
guessing now you, instead of you still only get three but you can choose and these are left behind now whether those are like the first ones that will arrive at your settlement or they may go off and form their own f settlement somewhere else uh, the, and tie in with you but it gives you a little bit more option uh, in your initial starting so that's pretty cool because that's brand new uh, your team skills what is that Let's see. All right, let's bring. Okay, so this is basically your a summary. It looks like of what four four oh zero. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Oleg, there we go. All right, so yeah, so this is basically a summary of the averages of the three of your group that you're putting together. So, you know, we have passion for shooting. Is this just your top person? Let's see. Yeah, maybe. All right, cooking five, and that says that's Oleg. Okay, so this is your top person in your group at each one of the main categories so it, it makes it easy at a glance yeah because used to we'd have to go through the tab and tab through the characters and go oh yeah what did we have here so this is cool that's that's a new feature as well to kind of see if you have everything put in place and you can say oh well you know i really want somebody good at growing well you have you know then we can go in and find that person if we have one which we don't. Oh, there's one of a, a, a four. And social, which I find very important to get started. So we could drop uh, Fernanda. All right, so we'll do that. Can we not do that? There we go. No? Oh, there we go. Mother. Okay, so cooking's up. Now, see, they don't put social on here. That's okay, but growing is up now. So that says that is Oleg still. But I like the social. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then you could still randomize your character and look around. Uh, the mod for plan carefully is not active right now. So... All right, let's generate a map. Just take a look around, see if anything looks different. Probably not. All right, we're going to go ahead and pause it here. All right, so yeah, no, it's, it's pretty much the same old map that we're used to seeing. A couple of water features. I will miss the, uh, the fishing mod until that gets updated. So anyway, uh, that is the game. Uh, let's see, Architect. Just see if anything looks new in here. Open. Uh, not sure what that's for. What does that do? Oh, opens containers. Interesting. So that's different. Looks like they've tweaked this out a little bit. Again, this is vanilla. I have, uh, well, I've got a couple of mods loaded, so there may be some things that I'm used to seeing in here from my mods that are not there. All right, stockpiles, farming. Yeah, that's similar. Oh, okay. This is, uh, this is actually a mod, so don't get freaked out by this, both of these. Uh, so you can smooth and etch walls, very similar to Dwarf Fortress. That is a, a B18 mod, actually. Bridges, you can build bridges, and you can also build partial bridges to make, you know, like uh, docks, things of that nature. Uh, and this is all part of that, that, that mod. Uh, production, a fishing spot, a shellfish trap, those are part of a mod as well. Torches, pots. I think this is a mod for smaller tables. It may not be. It may not be. 
So you, you have different size tables now. So that's actually good for putting it in like your prisoner room. You don't want that real big table, you know, the two by two. So you can put a one by two, uh, you know, for that. Uh, here's the new chem fuel generator. Uh, produces power by consuming chem fuel. So that's that's brand new, a new power source. Sandbags, steel barrier, half walls. What are sand? Uh, okay, so sandbags now take cloth instead of steel. All right. The steel barrier still takes cloth and sand. I don't know where we get sand from. An embrasure, a full wall with a small hole. Oh, that's cool. So you could actually build a defensive wall and it has the apertures in it to shoot through. You could put your gun through there and shoot away. Deadfall traps, spike traps, and heavy sandbags. So there's some new stuff there. That's all the same. Uh, this, was this part of the... This is a mod, okay, to create uh, on, on solid stone. You could, you could create farming storage. So storage is a new tab. That's you, that was usually always up in zones and orders. All right, farming. Some of those are due to the uh, mods. Floors. A poker table, nice, and a water gazing spot. That may be new. That may, yeah, that may be part of that mod. Uh, your ship temperature pathing was another mod. This was to uh, very similar to in Dwarf Fortress, where you could kind of try to get them not to go in certain areas. Um, you know, that would work for that. So anyway, uh, just wanted to show you guys what was new. Thanks for checking it out. Check out the new uh, updated RimWorld. Check out the game if you haven't played it. It is awesome. And we'll see you guys next time. Also, just a side personal note, uh, you guys, uh, I am, I'm 50 years old. I'm a heavy metal fan, rock and roll fan. Grew up on 80s and late 70s rock and roll. And uh, today's a sad day. One of my favorite bands, ACDC, uh, one of their founding, the, the two founding brothers, Malcolm Young, has been suffering from dementia for several years and uh, he passed away uh, last night or early early this morning uh, so uh, big loss to the music world uh, of course he wasn't able to play anymore which was a big loss but uh, a lot of great music left behind if you're an ACDC or a rock and roll fan uh, so a sad day in uh, rock and roll uh, and music and I listen to music all the time one of my favorite bands so uh you know i got hit with the double whammy the, the updated rim world and then uh, the loss of uh you know one of the uh you know really a musical icon of of that generation uh very overlooked but uh definitely the guys in the band gave him a lot of credit so anyway rest in peace malcolm check out rim world thanks for checking out the video uh i've got a lead save going up today and uh yeah, I was going to start a RimWorld, but I'm going to wait for some mods to get updated. And uh, so we'll start that. So uh, be a little bit more Dwarf Fortress going on. I am also going to be checking out a new uh, free to play this weekend. Uh, so check that out a little bit later today as well. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Bye now.